Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Well, right now you can see it's just a concrete block, but it's set to be the new home of a controversial conquistador statue. Juan de Oñate is set for a comeback, but his return is not welcomed by everyone. And if it happens later this week, it certainly will not happen without plenty of protest in northern New Mexico. They want to glorify our trauma. And so I'm here to say we're standing up. This is a new era. The message for two dozen protesters in front of the Rio Arriba County building was clear. This isn't even 2020 anymore. It has changed and we are not going to accept this anymore. The concrete is cured for Juan de Oñate's new home. This after <laughs> the statue was taken down from the Oñate Monument Center in Alcalde in the summer of 2020. They love to talk about their religion and love and light and all this. But at the end of the day, what are they doing and what is Alex Naranjo and others in leadership doing to build community in Rio Arriba County? What more appropriate time to put this statue back where it belongs than now? Rio Arriba County Commissioner Alex Naranjo is facing the brunt of the criticism. Is the plan still to put it up on Thursday? Of course. Of course, we're not going to change. His opponents point to a recent indictment for lying under oath as evidence of his character. Still, he says he thinks a majority of his constituents want Antoniate back. What really irks me and bothers me is that we're listening to a few radicals that are trying to change a system that we've lived with for 400 years. And to me, that's very personal. I'm wondering, what if it was put in a, in a museum? Like, wh why are these not uh, reasonable compromises to this problem? Because it's more important for the dominant culture and the power structures to continue to keep us in a state of continually opposing it instead of worrying about the real issues that are truly impacting the people. No compromise in sight and two sides not blinking. I'm praying it won't happen Thursday and you know like other folks said we're gonna if you dare we dare by any means necessary we are going to hopefully stop this monument from being erected. That's their prerogative we live in America. I mean if that's what they want to do that's their prerogative. I can tell you that I wouldn't do that. Some protesters say this is about undoing the damage of colonialism, not a native versus Hispanic issue. Now, the statue is still set to have its rededication ceremony in front of that county building at 10 a.m. on Thursday.